Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Ivins. I'm a holistic counsellor, certified EFT practitioner and an angel intuitive. Now in this video I am going to take you through the different tapping points that we use in clinical EFT. So now clinical EFT um, has a lot of the scientific backing behind it. You know there's been over 100 um, scientific peer-reviewed studies that have been done um, in how it works and how it can help in so many different things. But in this video, what I wanted to do is actually take you through each of the different tapping points that we use to really help you to understand each one of them. But also, you know, if you've got certain things going on in your life, then you can know which one you could use for that different one, because each of them too, they run along the meridian. So each of them are connected to, to different meridians as well. So, you know, if you've got things going on within your body, then you'll know there may be a certain point. So say, you know, you've got some pain in your kidneys or something going on with that, then you'll know which tapping point you can use that's going to help you with that. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the uh, side of the hand. So the side of the hand is um, where we, we get started. So that's where we do the setup statement in EFT tapping. So we're tapping on the side of the hand where the little finger runs along and just tapping and just really setting ourselves up for what we're going to tap on. So it's always, even though I feel, so even though I feel anxious, I accept myself and how I feel. It could be even though I have this tightness in my stomach, which is where anxiety is known to reside, I accept myself and how I feel. So you can see we're setting ourselves up um, in this spot. So even though I'm feeling anxious, I accept myself and how I feel. And it really gets our subconscious ready for what it is that we're going to work on. Now, so it helps to really, you know, release that feeling of being stuck. Um, it promotes ease in moving forward. Like I said, we're getting ourselves ready um, in letting go and in, in healing from grief as well. And the ability to just be happy and really be um, in the present moment. And this one is connected to the small intestine meridian. So that's our first point that, that we work on. That's where we start. So the next one that we're gonna we're gonna look at is um, the the eyebrow. Now the eyebrow is connected to the bladder meridian, so it's just on the inside of the eyebrow there. So we're just tapping again with two fingers. Now this one releases trauma, hurt, and sadness, and it promotes peace and emotional healing. So if you're going through some difficult times, if you really start to heal that trauma for yourself then this can be a really good one. It actually feels quite nice. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the side of the eye. So we're gonna come around where the eyebrow is and just on the side there. Again, with two fingers, just tapping along. So the side of the eye is actually the gallbladder meridian. You know, and I actually went through um, an operation with my gallbladder, I think it was uh, last year. Yeah, last year, November last year, <laughs> 2023. Um, unfortunately, I had to have my gallbladder removed because it was pretty bad at that point. But I know when I was getting the gallbladder attacks, I actually found that this really helped when I was going through those very painful attacks. So, so connected to the gallbladder meridian, and it also helps to release resentment um, and anger, and it promotes clarity and also compassion. So that's the side of the eye. So now we're gonna come down uh, under the eye. So this one is connected to the stomach um, meridian. And you won't be surprised when I tell you what it helps with. <laughs> so just where the bone, is there under the eye, tapping with two fingers, it releases fear and anxiety. What was I saying before when we were doing the setup statement about the anxiety and about the stomach, right? And it promotes contentment, calmness, and a feeling of safety. So this one can be really good too. You know, if you're feeling unsafe for some reason, if your anxiety has peaked for one reason or another, or maybe you don't even know why it's peaked, this can be a really good one. All right, let's move down now to under the nose, so just here. Again, tapping with two fingers. So this one is the governing vessel meridian. So it helps to release shame and powerlessness and promotes self-acceptance, self-empowerment and compassion for self and others. So that's a good one too. So then we're gonna go down to the chin. So just under the mouth there where that line is, again, tapping with two fingers. So this one's connected to the central meridian. This one releases confusion and uncertainty and promotes clarity certainty, confidence, and self-acceptance. So you notice in the beginning I said releases confusion and uncertainty. And then I'm saying promotes clarity and certainty. So 
We can tap things down with EFT tapping and then we can also tap things up. So what is it that we want to feel? So we're tapping down what we don't want to feel, tapping up what we do. So that's always really good with tapping as well. All right, so now we're going to move down to the collarbone. Now this one, like I mentioned before, it is connected to the kidney meridian. So if we find the collarbone here, move down just a few inches, you'll find a bit of a sore spot there. So we're just going to be tapping then again with two fingers. So connected to the kidney meridian. So I said, if you're having some pain in, in your kidney, that would be on the lower back, then this one can really help with that. And it also releases the feeling of being stuck and it promotes ease in moving forward, confidence and clarity. So that's our collarbone. So move on now to under the arm. So it's just at the top where your bra strap would normally sit. So this one is actually collect, uh, connected to the spleen. So this is reduce, uh, sorry, releases guilt and worry and obsessing, we can get, you know, overthinking can happen a lot and we can be obsessing about something. This one can help with that. And it promotes clarity, confidence, relaxation, and compa compassion for self and others. So that's under the arm. And then the top one, the final one that we're gonna do is the top of the head. So up the top here. So this one is connected to the crown chakra, clearly, because that's where the crown chakra sits. Now, this is not one particular point, rather it's a collection of many of the meridian points. And you know, tapping on the top of the head, it just, it opens up the crown chakra, you know, which is great to really help us to have that spiritual connection. So it promotes that spiritual connection while really anchoring in the new balance and alignment from the completed tapping round that we just did. So you can see how we have each of those different points. So we have our setup statement the side of the hand, and then we have the eight points. Now those eight points have been used um, in like the research that I told you about for, for clinical EFT tapping. So when we do a round, we do all of those points. So we start with a setup statement and then we move through all of those points. But like I say, if you know you've got something going on within your body, or there might be just one spot that you really prefer. I know for me, like I really like the inside of the eyebrow. That's quite a good one. Also I really like the collarbone. It's, yeah, it's probably my favorite actually. <laughs> I think about it. The collarbone one always feels really good. So just really connecting into that for yourself, just really seeing which one is my favorite. You know, I'd love to hear that. So comment below and let me know as we do the tapping, which one do you find is your favorite, is your go-to tapping point? Because that's really gonna tell you something about yourself too, is to, you know, what is it that you have going on? And that may change too. Like some days you may want to do the collarbone. Some days you might wanna do the top of the head if you're wanting to really connect with your guides, your spiritual guides and, and your angels. You know, just really connecting in for that for yourself and understanding which one feels good to me today and just go with that. I really trust that this has been informative for you to help you understand more about clinical EFT tapping and it's really going to start to help you to bring that in on a daily basis, to have a daily um, exercise of tapping. You're really going to start to notice um, a difference in your life. So I really want to thank you for joining me and I look forward to chatting with you again next time.